Dear Argos, can you please talk about the recent LGS MetaZoo scandal where MetaZoo sold a huge volume of rare exclusive event promos and sold out products to MetaZoo partners. Please and thank you, hugs and kisses. Fine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Argos Anonymous. I'm Argo. My main critique is not is not the focus on a negative thing at all, because there actually are some valid points that were made in this MetaZoo Wears Integrity video. Uh, although a lot of it was just assumptions without any facts or data to back it up. Just a bunch of assumptions, many of which were wrong. My biggest critique is not that. My critique is Everybody knows that if you're going to make a hit piece on MetaZoo, you can't do it unless you say my name at least 69 times. Not two, not five, not eight. You're slacking. You got to go back. You got to do the video again. And I want to hear the word Argos at least, at least 69 times. Everything that happens goes through me. So remember, if you're mad at MetaZoo, you got to say the word Argos, Argos, Argos. 69 times or you're not even trying okay but in all seriousness here's the deal here's what happened so metazoo has a retail partnership chain that is essentially an internal distribution network they have um you know 40 or 50 different stores and retailers that have access to wholesale products through metazoo and in return for that they support the company in a lot of different ways they hold a bunch of events they have communities on facebook discord um they have all, just all anything they can do basically they produce content whatever to help sort of provide for the MetaZoo community. And then MetaZoo helps them by giving them good access to product, which equals money, which keeps the businesses in business. Okay, so this is the MetaZoo partner chain. And what happened recently is MetaZoo was doing some spring cleaning in their warehouse where they go through and they find a bunch of leftover stuff, right? And this is a normal thing. So what happened is they had some leftover magic cast, some fan art blister packs, some uh, wilderness ebay boxes christmas 2021 boxes they had a couple things like that a lot of the stuff was all gone but they found some stuff when they went fishing and they also found some you know boxes or cases or however it works for these of exclusive event promo cards that weren't all handed out at events my understanding is that most of those cards are the ones that arrived late where like they didn't have it in time for the event and so what they did was um everyone who went to the event had to like prove they were there by sending in a photo or something and then MetaZoo would would mail them the card later and so what happened then is inevitably not a lot of people ended up doing that so MetaZoo ordered way more cards than they needed and then the rest of those are sitting in a warehouse somewhere and then the ones that did get sent out are, are rare and exclusive because it was harder for people to get them and so then they're worth more money and so what happened basically was you have this partner sale going and the way MetaZoo does it is when they have partners that are going to get inventory, they list it on the MetaZoo marketplace, right? And so anyone anyone can see it. It just says partner exclusive. So when you look at MetaZoo, you have to understand there's like a chain of a very small staff. You have, I don't know the exact number, 10, 11, even though... Even though they're all locked up in my closet, I don't, I haven't, I've never counted them. I, I don't know the exact number of MetaZoo staff, but um, there's like... 10 or 11 may, maybe and this is including like the chiefs the big wigs the people have a lot of other jobs going on you don't have a lot of people and you have a small gathering of like a lot of them are like part-time hourly workers and so what happened was one person at the top communicated to somebody else and said hey we're going to offer leftover inventory to partners to clear it out of the way because we have a bunch of new core sets coming in 2023 and it's going to be you know it's time to flush the warehouse and make room for the new stuff right so they said, list, list the stuff that we have left, okay? So this person ran a script that just lists everything that's on an Excel sheet that shows what is left, okay? And so everything got listed. But that's not how we order as partners. That isn't how we checked out of the system. We saw this stuff and we were able to like express interest. We were able to place preliminary orders on stuff. But then, but then what happens is MetaZoo goes and looks through all these things right, and sends us a direct personal invoice on what we're allowed to then have. So once uh, once MetaZoo went and looked through all of the, you know, like the, the pseudo, the pre-orders basically from partners, they saw all this crap on there like ambassador promos, C2E2 promos, dinged ding bells, all that kind of stuff. And they were like, oh, whoa, 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 oops, nope, this stuff shouldn't be on there. So they removed all the inventory from the site and they started over and they sent out specific invoices to all of the partners telling them exactly what they can have. And what I ended up with, for example, was like five boxes of Christmas 2021. 
I got two boxes of Magic Ass. Two boxes. I've sold 500 probably ish boxes of Magic Ass in the last year, and I just got two. So, my issue with this recent MetaZooverse Integrity video is that what he did was he took one fact, one fact which was the fact that inventory was listed on a website. And then he asked no pertinent questions to anyone who would have any information. He just went right out there and he made a video saying all this product is getting dumped out there. And he frankly doesn't know what he's talking about. And then he calls me out for saying that uh, he posted a screenshot, right? Of me saying in Discord that it would be preferred if these like inter-partner direct business things happen on a private website, which case in point, this is why you do that. This is why you want to have this kind of like this kind of inter partner sales stuff and distributor sales stuff on a private website because random people will see one thing and run with it and put it like a little truth hat on a slippery gelatinous ball of incorrect assumption and then mislead a thousand people into thinking that there's a huge wave of promos coming out that isn't coming. MetaZoo isn't sending any of those promos to any of the partners. We don't have access to ambassador promos. We're not getting C2E2 promos. We're not getting ding ding bells. We're not getting any of that crap. So all this is, is one guy that saw one thing and made a bunch of assumptions and his heart's in the right place. This is not, a, this is not meant to be a critique of his main point, which is the integrity of consumer confidence, right? His heart's in the right place, but what I disagree with is when he doesn't have the facts and he doesn't have the knowledge, he just goes out there and makes an angry video and rabble rouses a thousand people into thinking something is happening that isn't happening. So you're not going to see a flood of C2E2 because it wasn't sent out. And you're not gonna see a flood of Magic Cast because we only got like two boxes. A couple people got like four, six, something like that. You're not gonna see a flood of Christmas boxes because we only got five. It's not enough to distribute. I have a thousand customers. What am I going to do with five boxes of Christmas 2022? Build a house? So listen, if you're one of these people that just dumped your C2E2 promo or some like rare ambassador promo, something you probably paid a fair amount of money for, or maybe put a fair amount of time into going to the event and getting the promo because you watched like a sensationalist opinion video that stated a bunch of things as though they were facts that were false. You need to start thinking about where you're getting your information. Now that said, I agree that consumer confidence is important. I think it's really important. I do not think that MetaZoo should send out a bunch of exclusive event promos uh, when people went to that event and met the requirements, or maybe you bought it later, you're a collector and you spent $200 on some promo from an event that happened a year ago or something like that. I don't think MetaZoo should send those out if they're left over. Uh, personally, it, I think they should be, I hate to, some people are going to hate the thought of cards being destroyed, but hear me out, okay? I th I think you got to nuke them. I think you got to nuke them, and here's why. Because, because consumer confidence is worth so much money. It's worth so much money, okay? So if you're a company and you paint this picture of an exclusive rare thing, and it drives all this buzz and all this attention and people go to the event to get the exclusive thing thinking that that that's a valuable experience and like a valuable memory or that collectors go and they spend money piecing these things together and they, they have the idea of rarity and scarcity and value they, they put money into that that is the only reason they're doing that is because they they as consumers have confidence in the scarcity and the value and the integrity of the product and if you undermine the integrity then the consumers will lose confidence, right? That's what that's what that means, and that's what that's what Jake was going for when he made that video. That's why he said, "Where's the integrity?" His, as I said, his heart was in the right place. It's just his information was wrong. Okay, I don't know if they're going to show up in some other form. I have no information on that. I don't know if they're going to show up in those like convention boxes. Personally, I think they should just be gone. Uh, that that would be me because because there's so much value in having consumer confidence. There's so much. There's so much value in having a customer base that is more willing to buy in because they have faith in the, in the idea that limited means limited and sold out means sold out. That's, that's important. That's what, if you don't do that, if you, do, if you erode that confidence, people will stop buying. By pushing a sale that sells out five times, you're eroding the confidence people have in you know, the integrity of the company. And, and you're going you're gonna to sell more today but you'll sell less tomorrow. Anything you do to undermine consumer confidence, you're pumping sales today 
and you're killing sales tomorrow. On that level, I agree with the Where's the Integrity video. I agree with the, the soul of it. I agree with the heart of it. It's just my only suggestion is that if, that if they do another one, if someone wants to go out there, you want to do one more thing, I just, all I'm, I'm just requesting two things, two things. Number one, it would be really nice change of pace if the information were true. Like that would be really nice. And so consider, before making a hit video, consider asking a couple of questions. Consider doing just a little bit of research before farting the video out on the internet. Consider that. Number two, you have to say my name 69 times. Not two, not five, not eight. You gotta go for it. If you're not saying it 69 times, you're not even trying. You know, when people talk about this kind of stuff, you gotta understand, like, they they love it. They they want good things for MetaZoo or they wouldn't be saying anything. When, when Jake made this video and when he goes out there and he says this stuff, it's because he cares. If he didn't care, he wouldn't say anything. He's not saying this to cause harm. He's not saying this to incite panic. He's saying it because he cares. Yeah.